This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. We're at the MGM Grand here. With the day of the weigh-in, uh, Mayweather versus Maidana 2, Mayhem. With me, I've got the Vice President of Golden Boy, Eric Gomez. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, it's weigh-in day. So, uh, just uh, waiting for everybody to make weight. How have you settled into your new role as Vice President? You know, actually, uh, when we started the company, <clears throat> I've always been Vice President. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've been with Golden Boy since uh, day one. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I've taken on a little bit more, picked up the slack, and uh, but I'm still involved in the matches, and uh, it's it's great, it's great. So I mean, so from England's point of view, we kind of know you and Robert as the matchmakers for Golden Boy. So how much involvement do you have in the making of fights now? Uh, you know, I, I work I work hand in hand with Robert. Robert's a great matchmaker. Uh, he's got great ideas. We bounce ideas back and forth. Uh, we discuss them with Oscar. Oscar's taking a big role in, in, in the matches as well. And then we just try to come up with the best matchups, the best fights. I think that uh, when you make the best matches, and Oscar's always said this, when you have the, fight, the best fight the best and you come up with the best matches, everybody wins. There's no loser. Uh, the fans win. Um, the fighters win. You don't lose anything. Mm. How would you describe the state of where Golden Boy is now? Um, with the you know the stuff that's gone on before, with without going into it, with Richard and, and Oscar, and that, where are you now as you currently we, sit? We are great. We are great. Um, I think that uh, there's still some uh, lingering effects that we're getting through, but other than that, I mean, we're great. We're moving forward. We're still involved in these big events. Um, we're going to continue to put the big events together. We're going to play a big part in boxing, and we're going to continue to be number one. Some fighters I want to talk to you about. First of all, Leo Santa Cruz, who uh, defends his uh, world title against uh, Manuel Roman this weekend. Um, obviously, Eric, you know there's some big fights in the UK for Leo, potentially yes. with uh, Carl Frampton, who's just won the IBF title <coughs> against Kiko Martinez recently, and also Scott Quigg there. Um, you know, where are we with making these fights happen? Do you guys want to make these fights happen, you and Leo? I actually, I actually reached out, um, had a couple of email exchanges uh, with Eddie Hearn to try to do a quick fight earlier this year, and then this came about the Mayweather fight, and we just didn't have the budget to um, to do a quick fight. But I think that after this fight, if he's successful on Saturday. We're going to reach out to the best fighters at, at, in that division and get Leo in, in, in one of those big fights because I think that uh, it's time. That's what he's asking for. And he wants to give the boxing public what they're asking for. He wants to give them a big fight, a good fight. I mean, Leo's got a record of saying that he would prefer a fight with uh, Frampton or Quig over Rigondo. Um, what's the more likely fight, in your opinion, right now? Does it change, obviously, things that Carl, uh, Carl has won the IBF title, so he holds that belt? Scott holds the, the regular version of the WBA title. So, what do you think is a more likely fight to happen first? It, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, we're going to sit down with him and his management. We're going to discuss it and come up with the best scenario. But, I, uh, you know, he'll fight anybody. We've never had a problem with Leo Santa Cruz. He'll fight anybody we put a, in front of him. And uh, that's it's, he, it's a great working relationship when you have a fighter that's willing to fight anybody. And that's the kind of guy Leo is. He's never turned down, he's never turned down an opponent, never turned down a fight. I asked Leo yesterday whether he'd be willing to uh, travel to either Belfast or Manchester. He said yes, he's champion. How do you see that? Would you be willing to let your one of your best champions travel if, if the deal was right? You know, it's all in the negotiation. It's all in the negotiation. If there's a, an offer that's too good to pass up, we're going to consider it. We're going to consider it. Um, I think that, you know, the UK is is a big stage for boxing. Uh, they take their boxing serious. Uh, the British Boxing Control Board, they do a great job. I, I wouldn't have a problem going over there if it's the right deal, if it's the right uh, negotiation and, it makes, and it's the right offer, I think that we would consider it. Um, we understand Amir Khan will be uh, in Las Vegas tomorrow. He had a few problems. Uh, getting over here over the last couple of days, which uh, he put on Twitter, but uh, we understand that he's going to be, be over here tomorrow, so he's, uh, his name's been mentioned into the Mayweather mix for the last yes. year and a half or so, so uh, what could you tell us about 
potentially his next fight uh, um, and who he may be facing. Any, any news on that? Uh, we're going to sit down. Well, you know, obviously it's, it's fight week. We're very busy, but we're going to try to find some time, carve out some time so we can sit down with him and go over some names. But, you know, yes, I mean, he wants Mayweather. There's no secret about it. You know, so I'm sure that you're going to see him at the fight. He's going to have his notepad, his pencil. <laughs> And he's going to be watching very, very closely. Uh, you know, but he deserves a fight. Um, he beat Maidana. Beat Maidana, yeah. So, I mean, you know that that kind of, in his head, that's something that, you know, doesn't sit well, you know, because he should be the one in that ring. I think that that's what he's thinking to himself. But, obviously, we're going to sit down with him and just kind of discuss the next couple of fights. And I think he deserves a Mayweather fight. You have a show scheduled for December the 6th, is that correct? It's in the works. In the works. <clears throat> Where potentially could that show be? Would that be east or west? Uh, west coast. West coast. Okay, so, I mean, he can't, can't is to fight on that bill. Does he have to fight a top-ranked welterweight to keep himself in the mix of the Mayweather sweepstakes, if you like? There's a couple of guys we're considering. There's a couple of guys we're going to consider. Um, you know, with Amir, I mean, Amir's a tough kid. He's a tough kid, willing to fight anybody. You know that. So it's a matter of uh, sitting down, coming up with the game plan, the right strategy to get him in position for a Mayweather fight. You lost a champion recently in Sean Porter to England in Kell Brook. Um, Oscar tweeted quite soon after the fight that you know Keith Thurman would be willing to travel to the UK to fight Kell Brook. Obviously, Kell Brook's been in an unfortunate incident recently where he'll be out of action yes, for a little while. Very sad. But um, you know. Are you looking for one of your fighters to recapture that IBF title? Um, uh, yes. I mean, you got it now. I mean, Cal Brook, uh, he took the road less traveled. He came all the way out here to the U.S. He beat, uh, you know, one of the top welterweights in convincing fashion. I mean, that was a very good victory for him. So, obviously, you got to consider Cal Brook as one of the top guys in the division. Um, yes, I mean, if there's a possibility to make a fight with Cal Brook, why not? He's one of the top guys. Uh, Keith Thurman, the only reason Oscar tweeted that was because Keith Thurman was sitting behind him, yeah. a row behind him, shouting at Oscar, get me, get me Cal Brook, I want Cal Brook, I don't care where it is, get me Cal Brook. So, you know, Ke you know Keith Thurman would be, a, would be a terrific fight. I think it would be a massive fight in the UK. Um, we'll see. I spoke to Keith Thurman yesterday. He wants everybody. He's calling out Khan. Uh, Brooke, uh, Timothy Bradley, Brona, all these guys he wants to win. When are we going to see Keith Thurman in a super Keith fight? Keith Thurman's a warrior. He's a warrior. He wants anybody. He's another one of those guys that doesn't turn down a fight. Uh, two years back, he was calling out Canelo. He wanted Canelo. He's like, I want Canelo. I don't care. I'll fight him at 154. A catch weight, you guys get me Canelo. So he's just one of those guys that loves to fight. Mm. Uh, Eric, let me ask you your opinion. What, what do you think? Your take on the whole Peter Quillen uh, situation about him vacating his WBO middleweight title. Um, it's still a bit that unclear was, why, why that's happened. That was Peter's decision. It was his decision. And we stand behind him 100%. He's our fighter and we're going we're gonna to stand behind him. But it was his decision. Um, and that's all I can say. Is, is there something in the offering that's possibly bigger? That's why he did it? Is, is that a possibility? It's possible. I mean, you know, he's willing to fight the bigger names, the, the big names. Uh, you know, he's willing to fight a Golovkin. He's willing to fight uh, uh, Danny Jacobs, some of the other champions. You know, a recent Sam champion. Solomon, possibly? Possibly Sam Solomon as well. But, I mean, you know, with him, it was his decision. He made the decision, and we stand by him. Just finally, Eric, um, working with the UK matchmakers and promoters, how do you get on with our top promoters and you know what's your working relationship like with the likes of Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn? Well it's great, it's always been good, it's always been good. Uh, I like Eddie, Eddie's, Eddie's very professional, he's very aggressive, which I like, he's got a, he's got a, uh, a great team behind him as well. Uh, with Frank Warren, it's always been good. We never really had any issues with Frank Warren. Um, it, it, it's, it's good. I mean, no issues whatsoever. Mm. We'd like to see, you know, we want to see our best fighters and your best fighters in fights as well, you know, as, as fans yes. watching this. And I'm sure you want to make them as well. So. Well, of course, we want to make them. And, and I'm sure that, you know, only time would tell. But, um, yes, we want to be able to get together with them and do, you know, Mick Hennessy, we've always had a great relationship with Mick Hennessy. Uh, all them guys. 
Alright, well listen, uh, Eric, thanks for giving me 10 minutes of your time today. I know you're a very busy man today. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, it's a pleasure to speak to you and thanks for answering all my questions. Great, thank you. Alright, thank you all very right. much.